Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton. I just got back from watching Ready or Not, a horror film that I felt was definitely going to be one of the contenders for one of the best of the year, and I can tell you it doesn't disappoint. Ready or Not is not only a very thrilling film with its rather cre creative premise, but is also darkly humorous with a lot of gallows humor, a ton of great performances, and just a rollicking good time at the movies. But let's get to the story, shall we? The story is that this family called the Le Domas has one of its sons, Alex, marry a woman named Grace. Grace is at first overjoyed to be part of a, of a huge rich family, but she soon discovers that the family has a little bit of a secret. Whenever someone new enters the family, they have to play a game with them, and she chooses the one game that involves them hunting her down and having her put to a ritual to kill her. Hide and seek. And that... All that's been revealed in the, in the trailer, and I won't spoil anything else about the plot. But the plot, essentially, what I, the thing I love about the plot is that it essentially pokes fun at a lot of uh, creepy cult and, and rich family tropes from, from a lot of these movies, and it plays around with them in a way that, that while not, not entirely original, does allow for some creative comedy to go in with the gory kills, which there are plenty of in this film. Whether it's by guns, by arrows, by blades, or by other things, the film does not hold back at all when it comes to the gore, and it definitely earns its R rating, both with that and the sheer amount of profanity used. But none of it feels forced. A lot of these characters still feel as natural as possible as they can be in these thoroughly ridiculous scenarios. Grace herself is a really likable protagonist. She definitely has a lot of witty lines throughout the film. She's generally believable as the as the main as you know the main driving force of the plot. And she even has a few moments that let you know she's different than most horror movie final girls in a way. Alex is also great, balancing sympathetic character turns with a few surprises. And the rest of the family plays out their roles well, whether it's the whether it's the overly controlling father who has a dedication to this to his family, the creepy old woman who is probably the most obsessed, the maids who I think get some of the more humorous moments in the film, and the other players who have no freaking idea what they're doing. Sometimes the character's own incompetence is used as jokes, or they're used for the sake of shock gags that actually do manage to surprise you. Even if a few of them can feel a little repetitive. Another thing that I liked about this film is the fact that a lot of the effects looked really, really great. From the blood effects, to the way that the house is designed, to the various... to the to the various uh, scenarios our characters end up in. A lot of the effects feel practical, with pretty much no CGI that I could see throughout most of it. And that really does help when it comes to this kind of, kind of movie. It also happens to both find anachronistic weapons, like crossbows and old-timey guns, that would be very impractical for these types of films, and it plays around with those as well especially when it comes to the incompetent people who have to wield these weapons. And it even, and it even uses some other tropes like creepy kids and, and the, uh, and the clothes their characters wear to, to, to poke, to not just poke fun at other films of its type, but to also still feel dark, dark and generally thrilling throughout. Despite all the comedy and despite all the absurdity, it still holds on to the fact that it is a, a horror film, in a way. It still holds on to that fact. You still want to see Grace make it out alive, and you still care about her and Alex and some of the other characters throughout the film. It's definitely one that I don't want to get into as far as other plot elements, because it's best left for, for yourself. But... I will say it's probably one of the better horror films this year, and I hope you guys see it for yourselves. I give you, ready or not, an 8 out of 10. See you next time.